In this video, I'll be showing you how to get your hawk ready for free flying. Getting a hawk ready to fly free takes a lot of training. So if you'd like to see how that's done, I've already made a video about it. In this video, I'll be showing you how to get your equipment ready and how to tail mount your bird for telemetry. <laughs> If you've ever seen a falconry bird of prey, then you've probably seen the leather straps around its legs. It's not technically its legs, that's actually its feet. The equivalent on us would be between your heel and your toes. In falconry, we call these bits of leather furniture, and it's really important for falconers to be able to make their own hawk furniture. Now many falconers would argue that you could just buy hawk furniture, and you can. Half of my birds are wearing furniture made by professionals. When working with animals, they can often be unpredictable and you never know what's going to happen, so you need to prepare for everything. The best way to do that is to know how to make your own furniture. Also, falconry is so old, I feel like it's a tradition to make your own hawk furniture, and we shouldn't be losing out on these traditions. So let's go over the different bits of furniture there are. We have anklets, and these are the bits that go around the bird's ankle. Attached to these are jesses. Now that's a pair of jesses, or one jess. If you are a falconer, and you're calling these jessies, as in one jesse, or a pair of jessies, then it's quite obvious that you have never opened a falconry book and that is quite embarrassing. The different types of jesses include muse jesses, flying jesses and bullet jesses. I'm not a fan of bullet jesses and none of my birds have them so I won't be covering those today. So muse jesses go through the eyelet of the anklet and they have a slit in them which attaches to the swivel. The swivel stops the leash from tangling up with the jesses and it stops the bird getting all caught up. Flying jesses are thinner and attached to my bird's anklets permanently, whereas the muse jesses can be pulled out. The reason we have specific flying jesses is because we still need to control the bird in the middle of a flying session. However, if we were to use the muse jesses, we risk the bird getting caught on the slit for the swivel. So the anklets, the muse jesses and flying jesses should all be able to be made by the falconer with just a few tools and a piece of leather. The other really important piece of furniture is the tail mount. Now a tail mount is used to hold a bell. The bell is sort of the old fashioned tracking technique. It's always useful to be able to hear your bird even if you can't see the bird. And the tail mount also holds the telemetry. Now there are a few different ways of attaching your telemetry. Tail mounting is not the only method. Some people leg mount and some people backpack. Pumpkin, our Jer hybrid falcon, actually wears a backpack. However, my favourite is tail mounting. It would be irresponsible to just let the hawk loose without preparing all these bits of furniture first. If you are new to making your own furniture and using this as a bit of a guide, I've put all the time codes for the different types of furniture down in the description below. The bird's tail in falconry is called the train and the two middle of the 12 feathers are called the deck feathers. To find the deck feathers, I open the tail and count inwards to the middle. I then slide up a piece of cardboard to keep the deck feathers separate from the rest. I loop two small cable ties on each feather but leave them loose enough to put the viewer in place. I apply a small amount of glue to the part of the buoy that will be held to the feather with a spare piece of card and then place the tail mount as high as I can on the decks. It's important to be careful here as I don't want to get any glue on any other feathers. I hold it in place for a second to let the glue begin to grip the decks. Using one hand to keep the tail mount in place, I tighten the cable ties around the feather and view it on each side. I then clip the cable ties down.
For the Muse Jesses, I cut a long strip of leather, roughly 30 centimeters by two centimeters each. I cut each end to form a point. I then fold the other end over itself three times and using my largest punch, I make a hole. I fold the pointed end with my fingers to make it easier to push through the hole. It's pulled all the way through. This is then repeated with the other jacks. I hold the jesses together in the same position and using the smallest punch I have, I make two holes in the pointed end just above over a centimetre apart. I then carefully cut between the two holes, forming the slit that will allow it to be attached to the swivel. I leap them through each other so they can be fitted as a pair. A pair of flying dresses are very simple to make. I cut a strip of leather about 22 centimeters in length and roughly two centimeters wide to make them about one centimeter wide each. There are no rules on size for your equipment and everybody makes it differently. A general rule I go by is the equipment has to be big enough to take hold of it effectively, but not big enough that it looks cumbersome to the hawk. Using the smallest punch I have, I fold the end over and punch a hole in the top, making two small holes. To fit these to the anklet, I put them through the hole in the eyelet and then pull the pointed end through the two small holes folded over each other, just like with the Muse Jesses. Finally onto the anklets. There are different types of anklets. I'm making Almirai anklets. False Almirais use two eyelets on each anklet and are held with the Jesses, but can be removed, whereas Almirais are closed around the ankle with one eyelet. A rectangle of leather is cut in half. The size of the anklets will depend entirely on the hawk. I press the eyelet in one end to leave an impression so I know how big a hole to make. I then cut the corners to make it look a bit neater. I make small slits in one end to let the leather spread so it doesn't dig into the toes. The anklet can be left at this stage and then measured on the bird for a perfect fit. However, I will continue to show you to the end. The anklet is folded over and the eyelet is pressed into the leather to make an impression for the whole size again. Still folded, I cut the corners to match.
and that's how to get your hawk ready with all the furniture it needs to fly free. If you have enjoyed this video and would like to see more falconry videos, then please subscribe. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.